my 87 Carrera in the past three years since I've bought it it was the workhorse of my classic car world it always ran it never failed to give me huge amounts of driving pleasure and it didn't ask for anything more than the usual maintenance it was time to give it some love and therefore improving the brakes and the rear axle is on my list for this winter But you know, in the past months I had an odd misgiving that some evil is lurking. The reason for my doubts were the pointless amounts of Mike Sanders' rust protection that the pre-owner had thrown on the poor car and that had turned into some disgusting filth made of street dirt and grease. Don't get me wrong, discussing about products is the last thing I want and I'm aware about the advantages of these grease-based products, especially in cavities. But hey, how can anybody want this on the external surfaces on his car? I guess it's a mentality thing, but this car needs a wash. This is what I found under the front right fender and I felt increasing discomfort about the cracked up stone guard which became visible now most of the filth was gone. In order to get proper access to these parts the oil system needs to be removed and that includes the oil lines, oil tank which by the way I found was leaking and the oil cooler. In the late years of Porsche's G models, almost all the panels had been zinc coated. I can remember well the fully galvanized 911 body that they had put into the open in front of the Weissach canteen under a tall tree to demonstrate the persistence of this technology to anyone who visited Porsche. They also invested great efforts to line the wheel wells with stone guard, but you see, all these measures they have a postponing effect on corrosion, but they can never avoid it completely. To me it became clear at this point that I will have to remove the fender and get to the bottom of the matter. In classic 911s, screws are used to connect the fenders to the body, but that doesn't mean they can be removed easily. Some of them, there are 16, can be accessed within the trunk, others need to be taken care of from the wheel well, and they are sealed with stone guard. Two of them, finally, the ones that connect the fender to the A-pillar, need to be removed through the gap offered by the open door, and it's somewhat complicated to reach them. A cardanic joint for the ratchet greatly helps to get this settled. My beautiful Carrera has excellent external paintwork and all the following repairs are based on the premise that no damage will be done to it. <laughs> That's at least what I hoped. We will see how successful I will be. But as a first step I covered the fender with fleece which is supposed to stay on till the day I'll be able to put them on again.
if you love cars like I do, I'm sure that to your ears, like to mine, this sounds like cracking bones. I would have never overlooked a rust spot like this in one of my cars if it hadn't been covered in useless filth. So the lesson learned is, the grease stuff belongs in the cavities and not on parts that are permanently exposed to dirt. The one thing that amazes me is how good the backside of this panel looks. The rust really seems to be strictly limited to the very area around the hole, likely because of being galvanized. With some better understanding of the process of shaping this twin bead, I noticed that getting the shape right is challenge enough, but getting both shapes right in the proper distance from one to the other could be that one step too much and so I decided to divide the entire work into two separate panels. And while I concentrated on the manufacturing process for the first one, for the second one the actual shaping and welding work would be easy enough so that I could focus on creating proper film material. So here is how I did it. Of course, by beating the bead in, some of the original macro shape of the panel is lost again, but it can easily be restored with the comma. On the road to victory, the coffee and the brezen taste delicious. 
I'm taking the opportunity to respectfully ask my honorable viewers to send me a like or comment because that's what this magic YouTube algorithm desires. If you enjoy my films, please also consider signing up. And if you just think that a cool t-shirt with a hand-drawn illustration of this beautiful Carrera would be great, well, there is! Check out the link in the video description. When I look at my personal success statistics, I notice that cutting is the one thing that goes wrong far too often. I've therefore developed the strategy to first mark the rough shape of the repair panel and promise myself to do nothing that would come anywhere close to this line. Then I start trimming the opening step by step till the repair panel lies flat on the original surface. Then, finally, I remove all so far markings and do the final cut. You may find it a bit awkward that I tack the panel with duct tape, but don't forget they landed Apollo 13 with duct tape. At this point the focus lies on getting the panel flush at any point of its edge before it's welded, but I elaborated on that in my last film, so the only thing left to say is enjoy how this panel slowly becomes a part of the car. As those of you who follow me on Instagram already know, the Fender 2 was badly rusted at different places. When I publish this, the Fender has already been welded and is waiting for its paint job, so you can expect the next film already next Friday. See you around and many thanks for watching. <laughs>